Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Hey there guys, welcome here Welcome here to me. This is Idiot Box Radio, I'm your host Tori and I hope that this finds you super well. It's getting really close to Christmas, in fact by the time you listen to this it may even be Christmas Day. I might post this actually on Christmas Day but I'll do it via a, uh, a like I'll delay the posting and I'll, I'll try to have it ready. In any case, Merry Christmas and if it's not Christmas, fucking close enough, near enough. Now before we do go on, what I'd ask you to do in the spirit of Christmas is if you're listening to this through YouTube, then please do subscribe, it means the world to me same again for TikTok and if you're listening through Apple Podcasts be sure to leave a five star review. It doesn't cost anything. What does cost something is if you decide to become a patron and that will cost you about $1.50 and get your name at the end of my videos etc etc etc. In any case Christmas it's so fucking close to being the real deal with Big Red climbing in like a fucking serial killer laying waste to your entire family and taking bread and bread. Why the fuck did I have bread on my mind? I haven't had bread since I had my surgery. Um, I had gastric gastric fucking bypass surgery uh yeah 27 kilos gone so far look out world here's a skinnier me but uh, this has got nothing to do with that the other day i was uh at a petrol station you might call it a gas station but i just finished filling up my mini cooper with uh 98 bloody unleaded petrol you know the most expensive kind because you know bmw and um love the car just expensive to run in any case i digress here the two i'm there for and i'm in there and it's like it's christmas time it's december I mean, we start celebrating Christmas in fucking February. Um, pretty much as soon as Valentine's Day goes down, Christmas goes up along with Easter. And I don't know, you insert your fucking celebration of your choice and we'll be celebrating that together as well. What a crazy time to be alive in the world, that's for sure. But there's a... Um, oh, let me paint a picture. We're a multicultural society and whilst it doesn't really matter what colour people are, the girl behind the counter was Indian and the female customer was middle age fucking Caucasian and they're like blah 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 in front of the coffee machine there's an automated coffee machine at the uh, petrol station and you just simply push the button tell it what you want and it's cheap as chips really good coffee too which surprises me and uh, they're looking to get their coffee there but one of the things I, I just I don't get people I don't fucking get people though I do love the fact that they are fucked mentally and it gives me so many things to talk about on this show and talk to you and especially that I'm having a little bit of fun recording in the car with a little lapel microphone quality I know isn't as good as when I'm recording in my fake studio slash lounge room but I do believe that uh, we can get back to old school idiot box radio where I'm talking to you a lot more often and doing very basic editing and getting the shows up nice and quickly which is what most of you tend to like I hope you do let's quickly just check and see if we've got any emails at idiot idiotboxradio at gmail.com no we don't fucking hell are you guys listening are you out there are you out there it's idiotboxradio at gmail.com are you out there are you there are you there is anyone there I fucking feel like sometimes I need a Ouija board just to fucking hear from some of you people but they're talking to each other and she's paid for her coffees and she's walked out the girl has continued her job serving other customers but as the lady's turned she's looked at me motioned her rolled her eyes back at the girl behind the counter and gone fucking cunt what she's gone fucking cunt and and walked out now i don't think she realized this but the uh, girl behind the counter actually heard that uh compliment that was given as she walked out and she's just gone um yeah i could see her face she was hurt and it's christmas time and i know everyone gets a little bit short-tempered we're all running around and i've noticed over the years that people leave shit till the last minute maybe it's just human nature or maybe it's just the fact that they're fucking lazy i i I don't have the answer for this i can't even pretend to have the answer for this but answers they are nonetheless and i report back on them to you i've worked in retail for a long time indirectly now i supply things for retail outlets but i'm not actually the person selling them except for the fact that i I sometimes work at a bookshop and then I am directly selling to the public um, the books, uh, the words, forcing people to buy books and just generally commenting on what they buy in their state of literacy or their lack of literacy depending on what they're actually buying. But she said fucking cunt and I said to the girl behind the counter, um, hi, um, I'm really sorry that that just happened. Just out of curiosity, why would she have said that? She seemed okay when you guys were talking to each other. And she looks at me and she says she was upset because we didn't have light milk. So this is how it's got in the state of the world. This poor girl who works behind the counter has nothing to do with the ordering whatsoever. She's just there for a shift to make sure you don't drive off without paying for your petrol. And maybe if you get a chocolate bar or a drink, by the way, we don't sell alcohol in our petrol stations like they do in America. It always shocked me, the drinking and driving that takes place over there, yet they sell beer and spirits 
in their petrol stations. It makes no fucking sense. But what does in this day and age? I guess they're thinking, well, you know, common sense would tell you that you shouldn't have this until you go home. But yet it is a place that people have to drive to. Therefore, if they've got any sort of social problem or addiction problem, they're going to smack straight into that fucking thing as soon as they can to pull it down their fucking gullet as fast as they can as soon as they buy it. But Christmas time is the time of just fucking rude cunts and people being unreasonable to retail staff. So I know there's going to be Boxing Day by the time you hear this, the day after Christmas, the 26th. So be kind to your retail people. Just remember, you're there and it's a public holiday, so you're fucking shopping, but they have actually lost their day off. And yes, they're getting paid penalty rates, hopefully, depending on the country, but they're still missing out on time with their family and friends and all the shit that you like to do and are currently doing, but you're wasting time in a fucking shop feeding the fucking beast that is retail, and so they have to work as a result. They're not cunts. They didn't fucking ruin your Christmas. That's one of the things I think if you've listened to Idiot Box Radio for long enough, every fucking Christmas someone comes up and says to me, you just fucked my fucking kid's Christmas. No, I didn't, you stupid fucking shit. You've had 365 fucking days to sort this shit out and you decided fucking three days before Christmas where every other sensible fucking prick has been in and got their stuff to come and get it. You've decided now that we should have been fucking holding iPads just in case you came in. It's like the Facebook marketplace at the moment. They're getting me to fucking hold all my stuff and then just en masse just ignoring me when I say uh, when are you going to come and get that Lego I'm selling you I had a guy he wanted to hold a thousand dollars worth of Lego off me and now he hasn't fucking shown up for it and won't answer and I'm not into that name and shame that people do on Facebook but I would just like to let him know that he's just fucked my fucking Christmas well he hasn't I've still got the Lego at home if anyone wants to buy it I'll do you a really good deal but in any case it is the story of like why a poor girl was called a cunt because the shop that she worked in and wasn't responsible for didn't happen to have light milk and therefore she'd fucked someone's ability to have a fucking cup of coffee the way exactly that they wanted, but they still bought coffee, so therefore it was still good enough for them to have, even though it wasn't exactly the way they wanted, and they bought two cups of coffee for $2, and yet they felt they had to fuck someone's day by giving them a fucking insult. It made me really embarrassed, and um, even though I wasn't them and I wasn't that lady, but it made me embarrassed to be a customer fucking up someone else's day. So think about the people who are serving you because they are providing a service and and at the end of the day, too, never fuck with anyone who handles your food. Idiot Box Radio out. I really hope to hear from someone. If you do write a review, please let us know. If you become a patron, let us know. And uh, otherwise, have a really good Christmas. Be kind to your family, friends, and make sure that you offer a kind word to someone who really needs it. Till next time, catch you later. Bye.